think Volkanovski, dude, that motherfucker is good. He's so good that I think it's going to be an interesting fight. Do you think he's big enough to compete against a guy like Islam, who's a really big 55? That's a great question. Has Islam seen anybody that can move as fast as Volkanovski? Yeah. And what true. if he starts catching him? What if he catches him a few times on the feet? And if he can avoid a takedown? I mean, you're dealing with a significantly quicker guy, probably. Yeah. He's probably never fought anybody that quick. You know, when you're here in Thailand, you got to get a little Muay Thai pad session in there, you know what I mean? If you move, ah, okay, if you move, move. Ah, toy D, te D. Ni thuk yang le, ah, kop, chai, kop pen thuk yang le, te. Firm ni noi, mi firm ni noi, keng ne. Hai, mi firm, le, mat kum ni noi, na. Heng, ah, mi lo, mi rai, i yo, ha. I thought I'll uh, run some of the guys through some uh, techniques just for a bit of fun. Help the boys out, you know what I mean? Bang Dao represent. Good place, good turnout as well. Dude. Good class, so looking forward to it. Counters off leg kicks and maybe some uh, attacks off leg kicks and that as well uh, from different ranges. And we'll mix it up, but we'll go through more leg kick sort of stuff. So it won't be too tricky, but a cool, uh, some cool little tricks that uh, can be very handy. We'll go over a few of those. Obviously, I love using my leg kicks. Every leg kick doesn't have to be one that's going to take their leg out. Sometimes I use them to direct them where I cut them off, direct them where I want, set things up. I even use them as jabs. I use them as all different types of uh, ways of using the kicks. But today, um, we'll keep it not yeah reasonably basic, but um, we should have some cool little tricks from there as well. well for myself, I like to pick up on habits. If people start uh, doing the same thing, obviously I'm going to capitalise that and make them pay. Uh, one thing that I like to do off kicks, I switch stances, especially for my lead kick. I'll throw the lead kick and then I'll get back out of range because it's very easy for me to get out of range, throw hooks and stuff like that. Watch him. Okay, switch your stances. All right, again. Boom. Yeah, switch your stances. All right, I've got to read. Yeah, I've read that he switches stances all the time. And again, what I like to do about it, I get to hit that leg and get my head off center as well. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Smack. We got it. Let's go. One, two. Good, good. However you want to block. As long as we can re reset. Yeah. But make sure that jab's still there. Cover his eyes. Yeah, because I felt like uh, I, did, I did it after I kicked. Was this the, the jab? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh, you can go after, but yeah, I'm going to go here. Now, this movement, I do this. Off that, yeah? So it's an, it's not a jab, it's a, just a, yeah, 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 exactly. Let him think I'm jab. So it looks like this. But I'm actually going one, two, out Get back out of range. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah, and then I'll go here. You already turn, when you're turning that way, you open me up, you're so far. So go here, you yeah, see how you're already turning hips that way? Grace with the presence of the champ, soon to be the double champ. Whenever Volt comes, he always he likes to give back uh, to not only our fighters uh, that we have that train here that are our full-time fighters, but also, you know, the normal customers that come through and yeah, he just likes giving back and, and helping out. So he showed up today to the MMA technique class and now we're doing some uh, Volkanovski techniques. Thank you. The technique is like amazing. You guys will see it in the fight. Come on, give it demonstration. 100% my brother. A very good guy. I got to be same him. How is SNC different at 155 versus 145? You uh, a bit more, yeah, it is a little bit different because it's a lot more, especially early in camp, uh, more strength uh, sort of focus. So uh, again, we're bulking. Uh, so we're trying to build that little bit of muscle, that little bit of strength. Uh, and then later on, like in the, now that we're going to start to get a little bit closer, we're going to start to, you know, get explosive. Uh, and then, you know, stay sharp and fast and all that type of stuff. While maintaining that, that strength, but 
more, more strength and explosiveness based. A little bit of power and explosion of to start. Obviously, it's a it's different for Volk now because he's um, he always carries strength regardless. But now he's got the um, he's got the extra kilos that he can kind of put on, so he can afford a bit more strength work and a bit more power work. So that's what we um, it's kind of what we touched on today. Volk, who's ranked number one against Islam, is going to be some kind of a massive upset. No.